Alleluia Ministries International is a Bible-believing and Christ-centered church. We believe Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. His power is still at work in the church today, just as it was in the time of the Bible. We are AMI. Elisha had become sick with the illness of which he would die. Elisha is known to be a disciple that received double portion from his master or spiritual father. He served a man called Elijah the Tishbite, a crazy prophet of God, radical in his approach. He believed God and God used him mightily. It is this Elijah that is known as a prophet of fire. For we all know the story of the confrontation he had with Ahab and the prophet of Baal and Asherah. At Mount Carmel, he challenged them to call on their God. And he said, the God who answers by fire, he shall be God. He had faith in God. He had faith in God. Now you can't have faith in God if you do not have trust in God. When we speak of having faith in God, we mean trusting God. Trusting God not only in good days, trusting God all the time. On the mountaintop, in the valley, trusting God. Trusting God when everything looks good. Trusting God when everything seems wrong. Trusting Him even when you cannot trace Him. He had faith in God. He had trust in God. He had confidence in God. We know the confrontation. They called on the God and he could not answer. Because there is only one God. He alone is God. Others are idols with eyes that cannot see, ears that cannot hear, with a tongue and a mouth that cannot speak, hands that cannot touch. But our God is strong. Our God is almighty. There is none like him. He's super, super strong. He's mighty. My spiritual father, Jacques Andre Verno, once on a national radio was uh, confronted and pushed in the corner to admit that the devil exists and is powerful. Well, he had no problem to admit that the devil existed because the evidence of the works of the enemy is manifest. And he also had no problem to admit that the devil is powerful. But in the depth of the wisdom God has given him in that confronting interview, my spiritual father said, yes, the devil exists. And yes, is powerful. But our God is almighty. He's all powerful. I want you to know that you do not serve a weak God. Amen. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I want you to know that your God is strong. Your God is powerful. He will see you through this battle. He will see you through these attacks. The enemy may have all his agents spread around you. But fear not, son of God. Fear not, child of God. Your God is strong. Somebody holler, my God is strong. My God is strong. I present to you, family, a strong God, almighty, the God that Elijah believed. He answers by fire. And I sense in the Holy Ghost that today, he will answer somebody by fire. fire. Somebody help me have a fire. Fire. He's a God who answers by fire. Please have a seat if you can. It is said in that confrontation, as the opponent and adversaries of God in the form of the prophet of Baal and Asherah failed their mission. Elijah called on his God and he said, let it be known that you are God in heaven and that I am your servant on earth. May I pronounce over you that today it shall be known that your God is God in heaven and that you are his servant on earth. 
I just don't know who has faith for this word. But may this word come to pass in your life. They will know who your God is. I said they will know who your God is. They trust in the chariot. But we trust in our Lord. Hear me again. They will know who your God is. Please have a seat if you can. The Bible says that Israel, through the demonstration of the power of God, came back to line and knelt before God and said, the Lord is God, the Lord is God. So Elisha was a disciple of this great man. Following him, all he desired was to be used by God just like he saw God using his spiritual father. He wanted to have the element that made his spiritual father. He understood that uh, the difference between his spiritual father and others was not in the outfit. It was not in the shaving. It was not in how muscled and uh, how structured he was built. No, he understood that there is a divine hand. This is God in action. Let me tell you, some of you, you look at them, those in God, those being used by God, you wonder, is it the color of the shoe? Let me tell you, it's beyond the color of the shoe. It is a covenant between man and God. That's the secret. So he desired to have that which his spiritual father had. So he said, Will you please give me double portion? And the Bible says that he got double portion. He began his ministry with double what his spiritual father had. Because the spiritual father said, as I go, if you see me go, you will receive it. He has been found faithful and received double. I am praying for you today. May you to receive double. I receive it. I say I am praying for you today. May you to receive double. I May God cause you to forget the pains of yesterday. I receive. May God turn the shame you have experienced to fame in your life. I receive it. May the Lord God as serve pick you from grass to grace. Open door for you. I am praying for you connecting with me today. May my God see you through. May God meet you at the point of your need. May God elevate you. May God open doors for you. May God cause those who mocked you yesterday admire you today. In Jesus name. Well he walked with double portion. Somebody say I walk with double portion. I walk with double portion. Please I have a seat if you can. He began his ministry and he served God with might and power. It is said that in his living life, he has fulfilled or performed 13 outstanding miracles. 13 outstanding miracles. Miracles. His spiritual father in his life had performed seven outstanding miracles. But he, in his living time, he performed 13 living miracles. It was almost double, but it was not double. Let me tell you, sometimes the devil wants you to settle in the almost. But the word of God in your life is yes and I amen. Receive it. If God has said it, believe it, it will happen as he it. said. I receive it. Probably there have been one or two people that have been counting. They say this man has double of his spiritual father's anointing. So they expected him to operate and perform 14 miracles, not 13 miracles. But in his living life, he had performed 13 miracles. I say he's living life because the 14th miracle happened through him after his death. My good God. Somebody had a God, God is a faithful God. God is a faithful God. You hear this. It is say that they were carrying a man to go to be buried. So they were carrying him and they heard of an ambuscade. The children of Israel, that is. And in their fear, they dropped the dead body. And they ran for their dear lives. And the dead body, the corpse, rolled to the tomb of Elisha. Where the bones of Elisha were exposed. And as the dead body touched the dry bones of Elisha, 
a miracle took place. That was the 14th miracle. I'm here to say God is a faithful God. God a I don't know where you are. I don't know what you're going through. But please hear this. His word will come to pass in your life. I, I say God is a faithful God. Now hear this, please. I have a seat. The Bible says here, in the context of this story, which is extremely remarkable, Israel, having a prophet, a man with double portion, was going through great calamity. Israel was oppressed by the Syrian. The Syrian had rendered the army of Israel useless. At that time, they had only 10 chariots, 1,000 foot soldiers. Why? Because the Syrian had dealt a great disaster to Israel, though they had a prophet. Why suffer while you have a prophet? Why suffer while you have a prophet? Hear me. There are many people who are in the vicinity, the atmosphere of an anointed servant of God, but due to their disobedience, they keep on being beaten by the enemy. It is my sincere belief that it is impossible for you to be beaten if there is a true prophet in your life. I receive it. The presence of a prophet is a sign of remembrance. That's right. The presence of a prophet in your life is a sign of remembrance, meaning God has remembered you. Every time God had remembered his people, he raised the man. Israel was for 430 years in slavery. As God remembered them, he raised a man taken from the water called Moses. So you cannot have a prophet, a true prophet that is, and fall in the battlefield. May I say this over you, that you will come out of this calamity, whatever it is, there is a prophet in your life. The navigation system is working. God will show you where to go. The Bible said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. You will not fall. I'm prophesying right now. You will not fall. I say you will not fall in the name of Jesus. You are more than a conqueror. Greater is he that is in you than he who is in this world. I will say many die in the presence of the prophet. It is as somebody dying of thirst right in front of living waters. What a tragedy! Israel was beaten not once. Not twice, not thrice, by the Syrian. Some of your battles are not necessary. That's right. You are bringing them in. You have facilitated the devil to hurt you. Close the door. Change your trajectory. Decide to embrace the shift of God. You cannot fall like this. I'm speaking in the Holy Ghost. You cannot fall like this. This man carried double of the anointing of a spiritual father who stood against the prophet of Baal and Ashira and defeated them all. He had a double of what the spiritual father had, but yet in his time, Israel was beaten by the Syrian. Fire to every Syrian army. In the name of attacking your destiny, attacking your finances. I say fire in the name of Jesus. Who am I speaking to? I say fire. 
you will not fall. You cannot fall. Falling is not part of you. I'm speaking prophetically over you. Falling is not part of you. If you are connected to this altar, if your umbilical cord is connected to the prophets, I promise you, a thousand may fall on your side, ten thousand on your right side. It shall never come near you. With your eyes only shall you see the reward of the wicked. They will come against you by one way, but they shall be scattered in seven different ways. This year, you will see the back of your enemy. I decree, I declare, you will see the back of your enemy. You cannot have a prophet and fall. In Jesus' name. I have a said. It is said that in that time, Israel went through calamities. It was a moment of great calamities. I asked God one day, after an encounter I had with him, and I said this with a very humble heart, I said to him, why so much power in my hand? Why? He has anointed me for difficult matters. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I say this with reverence to God, to the Holy Spirit, and great humility. I say to Lord, Lord, why so much power in my hands? He answered me and said, it's not for you, it's for them. I will say that. Jesus. The presence of a prophet in your life is a sign of remembrance. I'm here to say in your battles, in your cries, in your tears, you have been remembered. I, receive it. I am a sign in your life that God has remembered you. Oh, he loves you. And whatever he has placed in his servants, it's all for you. Thank you, Jesus. Have a heart to receive it. You. Your life will never be the same again. I receive it. Now, please, have a seat. Israel went through calamities. But this verse is strategically chosen by the Holy Ghost, so verse 14, to bring to us a bracket, what is known in French, a parenthèse. Elisha became sick with the illness of which he will die. Now, this is a great man of God. The Bible reports that here, in the happenings of this event, he was very sick. And the Bible says here, he died of that very sickness. You will not die sick. I receive it. You should not die sick. Yes. Because you see, Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary. When on the cross, you were on the cross with him. Yes. As he resurrected, you rose from the grave with him. The Bible said, by his stripes, we are healed. Amen. Divine health is a gift of God. I receive it. There is no amount of money that can buy you good health. God gives it to you freely. Today, may the healing power of God go across this auditorium in the extension, in the overflows, reach every man and every woman. If you're watching me, receive it! I receive it. He became sick. And this is the sickness that will kill him. I came to God and asked, how will your servant with double anointing 
die of sickness. God say, it is important that the anointing that you carry for them works for you too. That's right. That's right. I will say that. You see, oftentimes, this is the difficulties the pastors and men of God have. And I can tell you, the heart of many in the body of Christ is so cold toward those God sent us. When we look at them, we think of what we can get out of them. As long as they carry the burden and they get the punch on our behalf, it is okay. Many men of God, many servants of God, men and women alike, have fallen in the battlefield because they ran out of fuel. And the heartbreaking part is that uh, as they ran out of fuel and fall in the battlefield, those who used to draw from them just moved on. If you are a man of God and you're watching me, you got to understand that though God called you for the people, you must know that anointing must work for you too. I receive it. Be sure to tune in next time for the continuation of this preaching. When a true prophet of God is in your life, God himself is in your life and is leading you through him, step by step, he tells you do and don't, go and stop. And there is absolutely no way you can lose a battle if you are informed. After the king say, my father, my father, chariots of Israel and his horsemen, he say, take a bowl and some arrows. And Elisha put his hand on the king's hands. If there is a prophet in your life, the prophet should hold your hand. And the prophet holds your hands only when your umbilical cord is linked to his umbilical cord. Meaning that I'm not alone. I'm doing what Joshua had to do on the battlefield. But I have my Moses. And he said to him, Shoot. Shoot that devil! If he did not shoot, nothing would have manifested. What causes men and women in the presence of a great prophet, under the anointing of a great prophet, still not partake of the blessing, is disobedience. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Alf Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Alf Lukau on all social media platforms at Alf Lukau.